Hi, I'm Gazwan Kari and I'm a proud member of the European SharePoint community. In this video, you will learn how to enable incoming email on SharePoint 2013 document libraries. To do so, first we have to enable incoming email in central administration and then we'll see how we can start receiving emails to your shared documents or document libraries. So let me switch to SharePoint 2013 central administration and we're gonna click on system settings and then from within system settings we're gonna click configure incoming email settings if you do get this message from web page pop-up screen what we need to do is configure the SMTP service on the server so we're gonna go ahead and click OK cancel out from here we're gonna start server manager we're gonna to go to features and we're gonna add a feature we're gonna look for SMTP server we're gonna go ahead and add the required role services we're gonna click next 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 and we're gonna go ahead and install On the installation results page, make sure you get installation succeeded on all three items and we're going to go ahead and click close. We're going to close server manager, go back to our central administration, click on configure incoming email settings. Notice that we are no longer receiving that message pop up screen. Next to enable email income email, we're going to go ahead and enable that. Uh, we're going to be using Windows. SMTP service so we're gonna do automatic if it was something else we would go switch over to advanced uh, directory server or directory management service it's now configured to know which means I do not want to create a contact object in Active Directory for my shared documents email address if you do want to create a contact object switch this over to yes I'm gonna keep this as no the email server display address is SharePoint 2013 in my case dot Dell software dot SharePoint dot com I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and put it in a notepad for now this is gonna be part of my email address and we're gonna say accept mail from all email servers and we're gonna go ahead and click OK so we're done with this piece of it let's switch over to our document library Okay, now we're going to go to our documents document library. And we're going to go to library settings. And we're going to click on income email settings. So the email address here will be, well, first of all, under allow this document library to receive emails, we're going to switch this to yes. Email address will be documents at, so we're going to grab this, and this is going to be the remaining piece of the email address. This is what we're going to send an email to. Uh, we're gonna save all attachments in root folder there are other options for us to choose in here as well we're gonna save original email as well let's make sure that we get the text body of the email in the document library we're gonna take everything as is and we're gonna click OK so now this has been configured for to receive emails this document library has been configured to receive emails let me switch over to another machine that has Outlook on it and send an email to this document library we're gonna say email enablement test and then we're gonna attach a file let's go ahead and attach a file to this email so let's go to attach file we'll go to demo guide and we'll go ahead and send an email to this document library I think I called it documents so let's go back 
Let's look at, look, look at the uh, income email settings. So I think I've called it documents. Yeah, here it is, documents. So this should receive emails now. So let's go back to the uh, document library. And notice that a few seconds ago we have received an email, email enabled test, and here's the demo guide attachment itself, and here's the email enabled test. This concludes this video. Thanks for tuning in.